in my beginning is my end. And then when you get to the end of the poem, it says, in my end is my beginning. And you have a sense that you have traversed a distance, but you are also coming back home. There's a sense of harmony. And so it is when we turn to the first verse of Revelation 21, then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. And the verse that comes to mind is the very first verse of Scripture. In the beginning, God created what? Heavens and earth. We got to get ourselves back to the garden. And this is part of the purpose of God for his people, a return to this home, to this ancestral home, the place where we began, a place of relationship between man and woman, a place of fellowship with God, a place of light and life, of trees and water, the home where we have always belonged. And this is in keeping not only with our own nature, but with the character of God. He always finishes what he starts. He's the alpha and the omega. He's the beginning and the end. What other God could work a plan so perfect and bring the Scripture to such a conclusion and the plan of salvation to such a culmination except a God who has been there from the very beginning and who sees the end from the beginning? 